All right, so in instead of holding my phone under my chin, like I've been doing all week, we'll go for a slightly more flattering angle this morning. Uh, nobody is out. We had storms again, like nonstop last night. So, <laughs> I don't have to quite be so, uh, I'm filming things, don't think I'm weird. Anywho, I can actually extend my arm and kind of give you like backdrop looks and stuff. Anyway, heading out for my walk, obviously. Got my little pack with my, my water and my key and citronella patches and doggo treats. Um, Saturday is generally when we do our longer walks, but because it's been so rainy, we can't do many of the trails. I don't think we can do any of the trails because the ground is like squishy, squishy, which is good. We, we really genuinely needed the rain. So, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do today after I get back. I mean, I'll basically run in the house, take a shower. <laughs> I got a jogging neighbor coming up the hill, so, oh well. Anyway, uh, we'll probably leave the house for a little while today. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm not even going to say I'm going to try to get cards done because it'll probably be thir uh, Tuesday or Wednesday before I get any more cards worked on. Um, I will work on Charlie the Gingerbread tonight. I am almost done with my neck crate shawl, which I'm pretty excited about. I have a couple more sections left to do. Yeah, let me cross the thing here. So we only have sidewalks on one side of the neighborhood, or like one side of the road in the neighborhood. And normally I try to walk on the left. Just stay left, stay left, stay left. Well, unfortunately when you're filming and there's oncoming traffic and no sidewalk, um, now I've got a couple more of the textured sections left to go on that shawl that's, uh, took from 2019. It's a net crate kit. So I'll probably have that finished by the end of the week. Charlie, the gingerbread will probably be done by the end of the week. Well, like next week, not like today. Um, yeah, it's an overcast morning. It's not too bad. There's still a breeze in the air. It's in the low 70s right now. It'll probably be yeah, 90 with 90% humidity by the time I get home, but... Oh. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning. I'll check in with you guys as we uh, get rolling along. Take it easy. Okie dokie, guys. So, it is now, like, nine-ish, I guess. I don't know. I forgot to check the time. We went five miles, or by the time I walk in the door, it'll be exactly five miles. So, didn't really run into any doggos. Wasn't really anything to share. I didn't have my phone out when we ran into the bun buns. There were five bunnies sitting there in the trail. And a sixth one had already crossed into one of the yards, so... But we just did trails, so there really wasn't a whole lot. Everybody's sleeping in because it's Saturday morning. Nobody wants to be out at dark 30. It's overcast. I think it just nobody was out. So we did see Lucy at a distance, but I wasn't going to run half a mile after hiking four miles through the neighborhoods. Um, yeah, so I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I'll keep checking in as we go. As you can see from the background there, it's still very overcast. Still very comfortable. Not nearly as sweaty as I thought it might be. Didn't need my water. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. All right, so it's been about an hour. Took a shower, finished a cup of coffee. Now we're in the car, on the road, and now it's sunny all of a sudden. Go figure. So we're heading up. The Charlotte Outlet Mall today. No real reason, just what do you do on a Saturday? I'm walking and crocheting. Alrighty guys, so it's now a quarter to twelve. We walked around the entire outlets. I finished 
one whole granny square. We're on the hunt to figure out if we're going to eat out or eat back at the house. We're just driving around. I did find two shirts. One of them's just a plain blue t-shirt, but the other one I'll share with you guys later on this evening after we get home, but margaritas. Just driving around a part of part of town we almost never go. So we were driving around and we stopped at the little roadside farmer's market in Fort Mill. I forgot to take videos of anything, but I got some chow chow and some cheese. So, Carrie's happy. I know I'll end up forgetting to share anything having to do with the food, but we ended up just stopping by our regular Saturday on this side of town barbecue. So. I will be getting brisket and pork. Nom, 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 nom. Y'all can't see it, but Banner got himself a stick, and he is very proud of his stick. He's been bringing sticks in from the back porch for a few weeks now, and he plays with them and drags them all around the house, hiding them. <laughs> yep. Alrighty guys, so this is all I got done on Charlie the Gingerbread Woman. I've got five more rows of just bringing the body down straight before I start rounding off the body. So the body is smaller than the head, not by a whole lot, but I think it's a one set of increases difference. So hopefully I'll be able to finish that up tomorrow. I was gone most of the day, but... I took my travel project with me, so the Christmas projects didn't get much work done on them, but uh, I got two granny squares and one corner-to-corner -corner square done while we were driving around in town, running errands, grabbing lunch. So, I got something to show for it, but Miss I'm a got an overstuffed head over here, still ain't got a body. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day, as you saw in the pictures before this. I spent a lot of time this evening also getting kitten cuddles, so kittens come first. Anyway, love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm sorry there really hasn't been any filming today. It's just been kind of pictures of the cats, but it's been one of those days where it's been really hard to stop and film anything. You know, we're not doing things that are filmable, like, you know, walking up on like the outlet malls or whatever, and like, you know, stopping mid conversation to be like, oh yeah, let's, let me take a, um, anyway, so I did take a few minutes to run downstairs. I had about 30 minutes and I finished off the four cards that I had started the other night. Um, so I'll try to share those before I go to bed tonight. I still need to share with you guys the shirt that I got yesterday. I am not working on a Christmas project. I am actually working on the knit crate shawl that I started. So this is back when we were moving to Charlotte. I pulled some knit crates together and just left them in the box. I caked up the yarn and everything, marked what needle size I needed, and had everything kind of ready to go in a kit and never used them when we were staying in the hotel before we closed on the new house. So when I was cleaning the craft room, I actually found those. And the first one I ended up 
doing that Mexican mentolito shawl that I shared with you guys the other day that I was blocking. And then this one is from the other kit. This one's August 2019. And this is Eklunta. I, I don't know. Lakeside Shawl by Mary Dickerson. So I'm enjoying it so far. It's a nice easy knit. I needed to kind of give my fingers a break from doing amigurumi because it's kind of tiring for my hands. But you have three different textures you work with. And I'm actually on the last section of the stockinette down here. So I'm pretty close to being done. Uh, one of you guys asked how you use the skein sleeves that I, or skein coats that I ordered from Precious Knits. So you put your caked up yarn in there and it holds it together. So as you work it, it doesn't like collapse into a big mess. It also, when you're working with a couple of different yarns in a project... It prevents things from like getting all tangled up together so it just it's one of those like cute little things to have plus they're cute um, it's useful it's handy for different projects I've used them for uh, when I'm doing fair isle a lot and I don't want my balls rolling around cakes rolling around in the bag or basket that I've got the project in but that's all it is like I'm about I'd say a third of the way done with this skein of yarn. I'm actually wondering if I'm going to have enough yarn to finish the project because there's supposed to be a ribbed section under this and that's for a couple rows. So I'm like halfway through this section right here. Then I've got to do two garter stitch sections and then I'm supposed to be able to do this rib section which looks like it's eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine or ten rows plus the bind off there and this is all the yarn that I have left so I'm actually thinking I might not have enough to do all the final rows so anyway I did want to check in with you guys today let you know what was going on it's been a rainy mookie yuki day um I'll try to catch up with you guys before I go to bed tonight maybe get this smushed together and uploaded but I hope you're having a wonderful, fantastic day. Ooh, of course, as soon as I turn the camera on, I step into a big puddle of mud. So, rain yesterday. Looks like it, we got a little bit more rain last night. Um, never got back to filming anything yesterday. So, that happened. Um, I don't know what today is going to look like. I think Troy may be working from home again, so... I'll probably finish cleaning up the bathroom. It's actually chilly, by the way. I, like, had to grab a jacket. I think it might actually be, like, 68 out here. Um, which is unheard of in July here. I'm not complaining. But, uh, yeah. So, um, if Troy does work from home, I will probably do a bunch of cleaning today and probably won't get any cards done. But I might get some more done on Charlie the Gingerbread Woman. Just depends on kind of what we're doing. Um, I have to fix my doorbell at some point today, too, so, eh, eh, it'll be a busy day. Monday tends to be a little bit on the busy side. Tuesday, I tend to run by the store to get my, uh, on-sale ground chuck and chicken breast. And, uh, yeah, once again, I tell you guys, I keep live, I live by a routine. That's just kind of how it rolls. Anyway. I'm going to get on with my walk. I will check in with you guys as I'm heading home. And I hope y'all are having a wonderful morning. Hey guys, so I forgot to get video of Jolie the other day. Jolie can never decide if she wants to be my friend or not. But she's so cute. On television. Go on, go on. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, it means more to people than to, <laughs> than to you guys. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. It fills us for some reason, you know. Like, like my daughter. Look at the little dust muffins. Hi, Pablo. Oh, goodness. Goodness. I haven't gotten French kiss this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's good at that. Did you Fanny? Yeah, they know what's in the hand. No. <laughs> yeah, he knows what's in my hand. <laughs> Fanny's like, I just be patient. I'll figure I'll let you guys see how 
muddy it really is out here. So I'm heading back to the house. It's uh, 8.30, I think. I think the last time I checked, I was getting ready for 8.30. Um, we got a little over four miles in. So I'm happy with that. Got, got some walk walk in. I'm gonna finish up some chores real quick. And then I'm gonna eat. I'm starving. Troy decided to go work in the office, it looks like. So I'm gonna hopefully get a chance to get downstairs and get some cards made. Fingers crossed. I still have stuff to show you guys. And uh, anyway, I'll keep updating you guys as I go. I'll see you in a little bit. A shtick. Get Banner a new shtick from a different part of the neighborhood. But I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? So there really hasn't been too much to film today. It's actually been pretty quiet. I've had a lot of just busy work I needed to take care of. But I did manage to get down here for 45 minutes and cut out some cards. So I have three more cut out over here that are a similar design to this one. And this is based on Call Me Crafty Owl Sheetload of Cards, January 2020. Bada bing, bada boom. So I will leave her tag down below. I am working on cutting some one and a half by one and a half scraps of the papers as I go to do these scrap cards. These are based on... Get things out of my finger way. A Just Craft Sketch. This is number 32. Also, I did two using this design. Um, so I accidentally cut the bow paper the wrong direction on one. So we have one portrait and one landscape of this style. I have not put gems or anything like that on these. I've just kind of semi-decorated the front. But this is based on the sheet load of cards, January 2022 by Call Me Crafty Owl. And then finally, the ones that I finished the other day, these are based on the One Sheet Wonder template number seven by Just Crafts. And I made four of these bear cards. And they're just got some washi tape. Their envelopes have coordinating washi on them. And these are gemmed up and ready to go. These have just been sitting out waiting to show you. So these are done done. The two I finished today, or three I finished today, these still need to have gems put on them. I might not. I mean, it just kind of depends on how I feel when I look at them again. I did use die cuts from... Da -da 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 this packet. Like I said, I thought with the gold um, on this, the snowflakes and the Merry Christmas sentiments would very be very easy to use. I didn't expect using snowflakes and deer and stuff too, but I want to use them. So we got snowflakes on this one. And the, the Merry Christmas sticker is from this pack of Hobby Lobby stickabilities. I have a bunch of these that say Merry Christmas, thank you, thinking of you. I really need to do some thinking of you cards, but that's what I use, like, even on these cards down there at the bottom. Don't mind my manicure. It's horrible, but I was playing around. This color reminds me of that granny orange red from the 90s, like everybody's grandmother's fingernails were that color. It's an OPI color called like something about the boulevard or something. Anyway, so I did get two done, three done, three more cut out. So I got like another six cards done today. So I'm going, and I've got a stack of one and a half by one and a half squares here that were from scraps. I knew I wasn't going to use otherwise. My scrap pile is actually quite small. So this is all the scrap paper that I have left. So I will be able to do like some of those um, just scrappy background bits, I guess. But I do have these three strips. And I might do a five by seven card out of three of them. 
I could maybe, well, anyway, I'm going to finish these first. I might use some more random bits. I don't know, but that's where I am. Just, uh, playing with the last little bits here. I like this sketch for mixing up papers from a collection because I had one of these green ornaments, two of the wreaths, and one of the poinsettias left over uncut into. I pulled these two from the scraps. This was a scrap from doing the first two cards. And then this was a scrap from cutting the big piece on this one. So anyway, it's dinner time. I'm just reheating some of the... Uh, Shepherd's pie I made the other day. Um, what I have cut out, what I've finished, I have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I have, tw I'll have 22 cards. Once I put these together that were done for, you know, straight cuts from sketches. I have four of the scrap cards going. So that'll be 28 cards. I probably have enough in here to maybe do another one of those. So 29. So 29 cards from a six by six pad. I'm not, not going to complain whatsoever. Um, and then remember, I have another six by six pad that I pulled and a six or eight and a half by 11. So I'll have, I mean, I'll easily have my 150 to 200 Christmas cards just from those paper pads. I'm not too worried about that. So, and I really haven't pulled that much washi tape. Uh, I did have, I mean, this is all I've used so far on anything. So I'm, I'm really not, uh, mixing it up too much. Now, once again, you know, as, things run out, I'm going to have to pull more down, but I'm just kind of trucking on through, working my way through what I got and enjoying my way. So anyway, I'll touch base with you guys maybe before I head to bed. I still need to show you guys that shirt that I bought because it's really cute and funny. Um, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry and I'm kind of tired of having my eyeballs open, to be honest. I might end up having a very early night tonight because I'm pretty tired. Anyway, I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Take it easy. Alrighty, guys. So there really isn't a whole lot more left to share for the rest of the day. This is the shirt that I was telling you guys that I got the other day. I thought it was hilarious. Just had to have it, so... I bought it. Um, it's just a standard black unisex t-shirt, but it's mine. If I can find it on a women's tank top, I'll buy another one. But <laughs> until then, anyway, um, I'm still not quite done with Charlie the Gingerbread Woman's body, but I did get a couple more rows done tonight. I need to do a weighted uh, pouch. Uh of like the poly pellets to go on her inside. So she sits on her bum. She's weighted on her bum. Um, so that I really can't, I've only got like three more rows left on the body. I just needed to do that, stuff it in there and finish stuffing the body as I go. But that'll be something to do tomorrow. Um, I am very tired very gross feeling. It's very muggy today. So I am going to take a shower and start getting ready for bed. But I want to check in with you guys. Peace. Love you guys. And I will see y'all real soon.